Hi, my name's Tessa. I'm an artist. I make sculptural installation work. I knew I was interested in insects and I started collecting insects from the streets, which I now do on a regular basis. So I spend a lot of time walking around, looking at the ground, looking for insects. It's amazing what you can find when you look. I suppose it's quite childlike, noticing things that you just overlook when you're an adult. I think when you're a child, you, you're kind of aware of these other worlds of the imagination. I think the world of insects is, is like that, because it's, it's always there. No one really knows very much about it. And when you look into it, it's quite alien and quite magical. Um, it's kind of like a parallel universe. Everything I find or everything that's given to me has always died naturally, has never been killed. I never even kill insects, I just pick the dead ones off the street. I did a project at the Natural History Museum last year that culminated in an exhibition called Little Savages. It consisted of a piece of sculpture in a case and a series of drawings and a stop motion animation. I spent most time on this, this piece, it's a, a fox, a taxidermied fox being attacked by um, skeleton fairies and uh, it's being attacked in various ways. They're attacking the fox by laying eggs into uh, the areas of soft tissue such as the eye and the tongue and the nose. Um, and here the fairies are um, performing experiments forcing them to lay eggs in, in insect, well, animals. In fact, no, no parasitic wasps parasitise mammals. So this is a first pa for parasitic wasps as well as fairies. I spent several months well, looking around the museum, looking around different departments. I met Gavin Board, one of the curators of Hymenoptera, and he introduced me to the parasitic wasps. He's incredibly passionate about the wasps and this is quite infectious. I was interested in wasps because wasps have been social wasps, so the, the common yellow jackets that we all know. Um, they've been a, a long time enemy of the fairies because obviously they have stings, they're armed and also they eat insects. When I make fairies I always start with the skulls and I take a little clod of earth from, from roots and soak it in super glue and then it dries quite quickly and then I can carve the cranium shape. When I know what the fairies are going to be doing, I stick on the arms and the legs and the wings and position them. The fairies are becoming smaller and smaller. They used to be seven centimetres. It's partly a, a personal challenge to perfect my skills. Before meeting the scientists and working at the museum, I was, I was, I was worried about presenting something that was uh, fraudulent, a kind of fake. From talking to Gavin about the parasitic wasps and telling him about the fairies, um, he, he immediately seemed to believe in them and that, that there was actually room for them to exist and even you know, surprised that he hadn't come across them before in the collections.